What is good, YouTube? It's your boy Coast, and I'm back giving it to you raw, uncut. Um, <laughs> and it has been one hell of a week. I shit you not, guys. It has been an amusing few weeks. I've been observing it all. Happy Father's Day, by the way, to all the real men out there. Uh, all the real fathers who father their children. <clears throat> uh, in case you guys are wondering what I'm getting at, uh, the Acolyte lately has hopped on uh, full on the the LGBTQAIP Express uh, showcasing a scene where a bunch of women give birth to a child. No father involved, guys! Because uh, Anakin, you know, he's not special. I mean, even though his father is technically the Force, uh, you know, he's he's not special. They gotta just shit on everything that's left of Star Wars. They have to destroy everything that's left. Um, God, it, it's been amazing watching uh, the 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 hype. Oh yeah, it's so hype. Oh yeah, the acolyte is gonna be the best thing ever. And then you know. The trailer comes out and the people are like, what the heck, what the heck is this? You know, oh, it's going to be just like the Old Republic, guys. It's going to be the High Republic, guys. Just like the Old Republic, except better. <laughs> and here we are. Three episodes into it. A bunch of Force lesbians give birth to, I don't know, what is it? The, the Force... Antichrist or whatever, like a bunch of uh, Star Wars wishes or whatever, give birth to um to some some baby in, or impregnate some some lesbo in a ritual or something like that. It was probably the most cringe thing I've seen in media ever. It's like, and you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of. Uh, like those, you remember those old weird feminist plays that that were kind of trending, like about eight years ago or something like that, where these weird uh, women would get on stage and do all kinds of strange dances while screeching at the top of their lungs. That's what it kind of reminded me of. Um, but as amusing as that is. <laughs> the ratings are in. <laughs> and the copium is strong. The copium is strong. Man. Oh, my God. Uh, I've been I've been taking the liberty of following uh, Disney Star Wars Else. You should definitely follow it, uh, their page. Uh, <laughs> it's just been absolute fun. Just watching them cry. <laughs> seeing them respond to his page. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, real Star Wars fans would actually love the Acolyte. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, that was hilarious. That was hilarious right there. I I, I kid you not. People are, are saying, no, real Star Wars fans would actually love this garbage that's being force fed to them. <laughs> I mean, it's totally not a Disney show crying about the fact that we don't like their shitty product that they're putting out. But anyway, on the theme of a uh, of, uh, bunch of lesbians giving giving birth without a father, the ultimate feminist dream, uh, the ultimate sexist dream uh, to just eliminate all men. <laughs> uh, on that note, we are in the middle of Degenerate Pride Month. You know what that means. <laughs> they had to put it in there, especially for this month. Um... We were warned that it would head this way, and now we have a bunch of people that are just lambasting Disney and everything they do. This, this, well, I, I called it, the Force is female. We called it back in the day, the Force is female. You already know what the agenda is. The agenda is to erase the importance of any kind of man from uh, Star Wars. <laughs> and the more you listen to, the more these people say it, the more the media, of course, is going to go, oh, they're just racist, sexist, homophobic, blah, 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 blah. You know, the, you know the spiel by now. And that's how they shot it down. People who were protesting against, you know, uh, gay marriage back then and all that. I mean, this kind of connects to that. They had to brand them, so to speak. 
Um, they're racist, sexist, homophobic, blah, 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 blah. And <laughs> then it's like, okay, well, when they actually prove their point, well, you, you prove their point for them as to why your degenerate lifestyle is a mess and is bad for the rest of us. Um, <laughs> they, they claim that the religious force their values upon them. Meanwhile, they're forcing their values upon you, even though you don't really want to see all that propaganda in your fictional media. Uh, you know, they, they claim that and then they do, they do the same thing that they accuse other people of doing. And it's straight up demonic. And all, but the thing is, all we have to do is sit back and let them expose themselves, because eventually they always will. The, the The cults always expose themselves. You know, they always say, "Oh no, 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 no! He's the one who's really lying, trying to gaslight you." And you know what? Um, Hollywood is a is a sick cult. It's a sick, perverted cult. Uh, and the video media is just their propaganda arm. They have all these uh, degenerate people that they allow in. Um, <laughs> and then they, they just inundate your children and everybody else with all this propaganda. I was never, ever, ever going to... I feel bad for all the subscribed cucks that are still paying Disney money to, to view this garbage. <laughs> Like what is this? I mean, it really looks like one of those those uh, like like an like a vagina monologue or one of those early feminist plays from like the 2010s or something like that. <laughs> Where all these women are singing in a circle. The power of one, the power of two, the power of many. Oh, it, it is the most cringe thing I've seen since then. I, and I, I have since feminist expressionist theater, or however you want to call it, stuff where they where the women are just screaming and flailing or whatever, you know, talking about their vagina problems. You know, um, it's the most cringe thing I've seen since then. And this is this is where Star Wars is is now. Star Wars is dead. Um, as soon as Disney took the reins, I was just like, "Oh God, no!" And you know, I haven't had to say much because I've been letting other people kind of uh, do their thing and take a lot of the workload off of my hands. <laughs> and it, it's amusing to me. That everything uh, that we foresaw is coming to pass. And these people are still like, oh my god, no, you're wrong. Disney is 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 great for Star Wars, guys. It's totally great. Everything's just fine. It's honestly really depressing that this is what we have to look forward to. This is what we have to look forward to as Star Wars fans. Yeah. Well, probably the only thing I'll be mad at George Lucas for. I mean, should we really as a society be surprised that this is what's happening right now? When people were warning us 20 years ago that this is what eventually happened, once the media starts normalizing it, it won't stop. It's not like there was going to, they were going to stop at some point, you know? We had all those discussions and talks and whatnot about gay marriage and this and that, the normalization of, uh, of LGBT lifestyles and this and that. And, you know, we knew the lifestyle was not right, you know, and even though we had all these media companies and whatnot getting on board the DEI train, now the DEIs is like so normalized. It's like, oh man, if, 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 
companies don't do this, then they won't get paid the big bucks by BlackRock and all these other shady corporations that you never hear about, but are corrupting the hell out of your kids. You know? And then we're surprised by this outcome. Yeah, but <laughs> I mean, it's, it's gotten to the point where it's laughable. We could see it as, as the propaganda we always knew that it was, you know, even back in the early 2000s, uh, in the late 90s with like characters like Jadzia Dax and, and other characters that were gay and whatnot being promoted, we could see it as the propaganda. I could see it at least as the propaganda that it was. Not a lot of people could, though. And and you'd be surprised. Like, people think that they're, oh, yeah, this propaganda won't affect me. And then you, you look at 2024 and just how easily people fall for the most obvious propaganda of all time. It, it, it's just amusing to me um, that you could go from, in 20 years, a society that values its God, its country, and its people to a society that is completely... Uh, divorced from reality uh, and thinks that this is normal behavior to promote to other people. And we'll look at you funny for supporting normal, natural things like family, <laughs> like, a, like, a, like the um, nuclear family. One of the moments in Star Wars history, <laughs> I should say. Um, I don't even know if I should call it Star Wars anymore. I, I don't know what this degenerate propaganda is, but uh, I'll let you decide. The air humping uh, lesbian ritual that they underwent uh, produced a child without the need of no man. They ain't need no man. They're too empowered to need a man. Guys. Anyway, it's it's your boy Coast. I'm just uh, loving it, loving loving the the chaos <laughs> that these fools are are subjecting are subjecting themselves to um, by being Disney fans. The 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 laughter <laughs> and the ridicule that these idiots are gonna get, um, and just the hilarious death of this franchise. Uh, I, I, I'm laughing on the outside, but at the same time crying on the inside. I don't know. I'm a mixture of emotions at this point, just seeing Star Wars get absolutely roasted online. Um, because, and no one else to blame but Disney. No one else to blame but them. Um, they can't blame Lucas. Lucas wouldn't have done this. <laughs> Lucas wouldn't have done this. And, uh... It's why we'll always look at George Lucas as the king of 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 this. Yeah, you know, he's he's the creator of it. I mean, we're not gonna, we're never, no one is ever gonna respect Disney more than Lucas unless they were a propagandist and they didn't know what Star Wars was until 2012. <laughs> if you didn't know what Star Wars was until like 2012 or later, or, or you didn't care for it until then, and like, you're not a real Star Wars fan. Yeah. Or if you just weren't alive for... If you weren't alive, like, 2005... Like, you, you have no reason to, like, speak on on the issue. You know? I, I, I don't think you do. You know, because it's like you, you don't... You weren't really there to know what Star Wars was like uh, back then. So, I mean, I... I generally respect you less <laughs> but anyway it's it's my uh just my opinion on what's happening with star wars uh what do you think talk about it in the comments i i just think it's absolutely hilarious to see disney star wars l's on twitter just going off just laughing at these clowns i, I can't believe that people some people actually thought this was going to be good but then again you saw the uh the ratio on the likes to dislikes on the trailer and you just knew where things were going all right, uh, it's your boy Kos. Uh, just <laughs> thought I'd share some some uh, feelings with you, let you know that I'm still here. Happy Father's Day. Hope all is well. All right, God continue to bless you and uh, force be with you. Peace.